Hello students, uh, welcome to week two of our pop art adjectives assignment. Last week your assignment was to choose an adjective that you feel like describes who you are uh, and sketch it three different ways. This week you will be taking your favorite sketch uh, and then transforming it into a finished piece of artwork by adding emphasis and color to your artwork. So the focus for this week is how do you add emphasis um, and color. So the objective for this week is that you're designing a work of art that emphasizes your adjective and that you are creating a mood for your artwork using either warm or cool colors. So the question is, what tools can you as artists and designers use to add emphasis? So one of the key, exam key ways that artists can add emphasis to their design is by using shapes, by adding shapes either around the word or even closer. There's like two or three levels of outline here. Um, so this is kind of an example of a more pointy shape versus a more wavy shape in this girl power book. Uh, but there are multiple shapes. There's one bigger shape and then there's little tiny spikes shapes that kind of make it look like it's popping out. So the other types of shapes that I've seen, you have kind of like circles to make kind of soapy bubbles. You could add shapes to make it look like there's a city behind your words. Um, or you could do more blobby, organic shapes. But either way, you're adding some sort of shapes around the outside of your artwork. And then the other way that artists can emphasize their word is by using colors. So when you're thinking about choosing colors for your word, uh, there's really two different choices that you want to think about whether you're using warm colors like here on the left or whether you're using cool colors like on the right. So some examples of warm colors, these tend to be more fiery orange, yellow, red, um, whereas cool colors are more of those blues, purples, and greens. And warm colors are meant to kind of grab your attention, give you a lot of energy and passion and excitement. Whereas cool colors tend to be more calming, relaxing um, colors. So when you're looking at some exam, when I show some examples later, I want you to just keep in mind the idea that you're, you're going to need to add shapes and you're going to need to add color to the background around your letters. So the steps for this week, choose the lettering style that you like the most. Then you're going to carefully draw it on the middle of your page. As if you have a bigger letter, I would highly recommend that you turn your page sideways, not do it tall ways. So turn your book so that you have more room uh, because you want to fill your page with at least 75% of your page is the lettering, not the background. Next, you want to add some shapes into the background either like around as a trim or just kind of peeking in from the edges that emphasize your word. And then last but not least, think about coloring your artwork with either warm or cool colors. So as I show the examples, keep in mind the goal, that, the thing that you're looking for is types of background shapes that you can use and types of color combinations, whether they are warm colors or cool colors. So again, warm colored background, a lot of warm colors. If you're going for a bubbly bubble letters, this is an example of a bubbly cloud, but then there's a second layer around it. So it's not just one out cloud, it's then the background around it. Clouds can also have spiky points on it. They don't need to have curved edges. Could also add texture to inside your letters. This is an excellent example of warm colors. So you have your red and your yellow. 
Um, she's got a little blue hair, but that's just because that was the character from the movie. Uh, so think about warm colors or cool colors and then shapes that you can add to around to the trim around your artwork. This is an excellent example of filling the page with the art um, and also stretching and bending the words to make the word fit into the page. So that is it in terms of examples. Uh, when you're finishing up, just ask yourself, did you choose an adjective that described who you were? Did you carefully draw your word using either block, bubble, or script letters? And then did you add shapes and colors to the background of your artwork to emphasize your word? If you have any questions about how to complete this artwork, please email me and we can set up a time to meet. Otherwise, I hope everybody is safe and well, and I look forward to seeing your finished artwork.